Hello, Michael Tellinger here. Welcome to Stone Circle Museum and the home of Ubuntu. So this is where I moved 10 years ago now. I can't believe it's 10 years that have gone by. And I started collecting incredible and mesmerizing tools and artifacts that are connected to the origins of humankind and the vanished civilizations here in Southern Africa. I'm going to show you what I've put together in my very humble Stone Circle Museum uh, that is currently active. Here it's the, the Stone Circle Precinct um, and uh, I'm going to share with you what the plans are for the future. If you follow me, I'll take you for a quick tour through the Stone Circle Museum. What we have here is a very dense collection of mysterious stone tools and artifacts that date back to over 200,000 years, possibly even further back in time, unveiling and exposing a vanished civilization that we know very little about. Until I came here in 2007 and started researching the stone circles of South Africa, Zimbabwe, Botswana and Mozambique, or the stone circles of Southern Africa, there was very little known about these mysterious structures and misinformation and a lot of um, ideas were thrown around as to what they were. Well, I'm glad to report that after 10 years of research, we can say with absolute certainty that all the old beliefs that were held and all the old theories that were written down in our current history books were wrong. That in fact, we're looking at a vanished civilization that takes us back to a very different history and a different point in time in human history that we can't even imagine. And the reason I say this is because the tools and artifacts, if you follow me, I'll show you some of the tools and artifacts that have really exposed this. And these tools and artifacts are all connected to sound, resonance and frequency. And the fact that this ancient civilization had a knowledge of sound and resonance and they knew how to use sound as a tool for pretty much all they did. So in this museum we have a collection of ringing stones, as I've showed many times before like this one here, this was actually the very first tool and or artifact that I collected. And it always takes people by surprise when I do that. We have the incredible sacred stones or the Taurus stones, uh, a new display. If you look around uh, at the I guess very humble display cabinets that I put in here 10 years ago, they hold secrets and mysteries that are unique to this museum and you will not find these anywhere else, especially the information about the, the stone circles, the sounds and the frequencies that we measured and if you come this way, the very important cone-shaped tools that we have a display of. So, this is just a quick taste of what is here. We have the, in, in, um, the I guess, the famous um, Clarkstorp spheres, or the Wonder Stones, as they're called, and so much more. We have a history that, de that dates back to the Dravidians, to the, the Khoisan people, the African tribes. Uh, there's a connection here between the Sumerians, the, even the Anunnaki of the Sumerian culture and so much information that is held in this museum. That's why it makes this such a unique display of artifacts and tools that are not Stone Age tools. They are beyond, way beyond the Stone Age from an age where advanced knowledge and technology was held by these many civilizations. So, the question is, why am I sharing all this with you? Is because, as you can see, there is so much stuff crammed into this museum, into such a small space, and after 10 years, the time has come for a new museum to take on these artifacts. A museum that is worthy of holding these precious tools and artifacts and making it available in a world-class museum with world-class displays and technology so that when people come and visit the museum, the Stone Circle Museum, they can have an experience that is absolutely mind-blowing. And that's what I plan to do, build the new Stone Circle Museum. So from this humble converted garage that has held its own weight, I guess, for the last 10 years, 
I'm going to show you what I've started building over the last year, the foundations of the New Stone Circle Museum and the plan of action that we have for that over the next few months. Follow me. Right behind me are the foundations of the New Stone Circle Museum. And I find it quite ironic in a way that it was the stone circles and Adam's calendar and the research into the vanished civilizations in southern Africa that brought me to this place 10 years ago to start this precinct here, to share that knowledge and information with the world. And thousands of people have come through here to visit me, to see the ruins, to take a trip to Adam's calendar and the stone circles, and to see the museum. And it is also that research into the, our ancient past that was the cause and that led to the launch of the Ubuntu movement. And yet, for the past six years, I've completely neglected my museum, the tours, Adam's calendar and the research because I felt that it was really important to drive the message of Ubuntu and contributionism and share that with the world. Well, that time has now come that I start to, I have to balance those energies. Otherwise, everything starts to feel very one-sided and out of kilt. And that's what this video is all about. I'm building the New Stone Circle Museum to inject a new energy into this part of the world and I'm going to be spending a lot more time from, 20, in, from 2017 onwards uh, on the Stone Circle tours, Adam's calendar and workshops and seminars and so forth in the Stone Circle precinct. It will include the information on Ubuntu, money, origins of money, banking, all that stuff and going all the way back to the Stone Circles, Adam's Calendar, and the new Stone Circle Museum. So let me show you why I'm doing this video. If you walk with me, I'll um, take you through the foundations and what this is going to be. The idea is that as people turn in uh, from the main road into the, the driveway into Stone Circle, they will see this amazing, impressive, two walls, this, the lower stone circle and then the bigger stone circle behind it. I'm going to do the finishes on the outside to resemble Great Zimbabwe uh, with that chev very distinctive chevron pattern sign along the top because it is at this stage it seems that Great Zimbabwe was the head office or the headquarters of this vanished civilization and quite possibly Enki's head office or home quite possibly right there at Masvingo in Great Zimbabwe. So this stone circle museum encompasses and holds many tools and artifacts that are connected to Great Zimbabwe, connected to many other ancient cultures from the Incas, the Mayas, the Sumerians, the Phoenicians, the Romans, the Greeks and, uh, and many others including Great Zimbabwe. But this is, uh, the, this is the Stone Circle Museum foundation that consists of a smaller circle and a bigger circle, as you can see. As with foundations, it doesn't look big, but believe me, it's a lot bigger than it seems. This small circle here will have an entrance over here. Once people park in the car park, they come in here. This is the office. Uh, where we have the books and the posters and the images and all the paraphernalia with stone circles and Adam's calendar. The office where the curator, the museum curator will sit and work from and, uh, and then you'll walk through here. Into the main museum. It's 10 meters in diameter, so it's a large structure. What we are going to do, we're actually going to add a Vesica Pisces onto the bottom end there to truly make this a sacred geometric structure. So we built in a Vesica Pisces energetic um, uh, geometry into this and uh, the, the displays will be around the outside. The pillar in the middle is to house and hold the tools and artifacts that are not on display but that also gives us more display around the outside wall of the pillar of the middle. It'll have a concrete floor uh, above, a con con concrete ceiling, which becomes a floor for a sundowner deck for the people to go upstairs and have a sundowner, have sundowners that they can order from our coffee shop and look out at the mountains and the millions of stone circles that surround us in this area. So, how significant is this? Very significant because this stone circle museum is actually built on real ancient stone circle territory. It cannot be more perfectly located than it is. 
So I invite you, if you have been following my research, if you like what I do, help me fund this and build the Stone Circle Museum. So this is a, a request to help me raise $50,000. With $50,000 we can make this a world-class museum. Once we convert it to RAND, South African RAND, it will be enough for me to make this a world-class museum. From the exterior to the interior to the decor, the display cabinets, the lighting. I have um, experienced uh, museum curators and people that have got wonderful experience in display in the display of the tools and artifacts that are going to be helping me we have a world-class South African interior designer and decorator that is going to be doing the interiors for me the lighting I want to make this the number one stone tool and artifact museum in the world so help me if you can let's raise fifty thousand dollars to make this one of those attractions share this with those who would like that would like to uh, know about this and that resonate with my work and with the vanished civilizations of Southern Africa. And I hope to see you at some stage when you come and visit. And I can take you through the Stone Circle Museum on a private tour. Until later, it's Michael Tellinger.